to JW Solar USA. I just want to show you a clear representation when you fuse your system right. So this is what really happened here. This is just a quick video. This is in my battery box. All right. You see the fuse I have here and just popped. And you know what I did? I did it deliberately so that I can see if the system is capable of tripping. It's capable of shutting down the system completely with no hazard. This is what happened. Okay. So, and as you guys know, I just installed the, uh, the Magnum, in which I'm going to show you back here the system. And I want all the panels open up and show you guys uh, what really happened here. Which, the system is right here. Everything is shut down. Because I was, these are uh, the Magnum, the MS4024, uh, very powerful machine, very robust, strong, and tough. But I try to put the system into stress, okay? I put most, or everything, the load, whatever is 120 I can have, I just throw it on the system. <clears throat> I was throwing it on the system, I have the deep freezer on. I had a refrigerator on, which is a full-size refrigerator, and uh, I have the water tea kettle, which is a uh, 15 to 1600 watt pooling. I have another, um, like an office uh, fridge, which is a little one that's inside the, uh, my studio room, and um, I have the water dispenser on, and I turned the water heater on that one too, and... Um, I had a television on, all the stuff. I just trying to crank everything up, and I don't even know how much really uh, wattage I was taking or how many kilowatts I was taking from the Magnum, okay? Because I have to install something over there that's supposed to be telling me how many kilowatts I'm taking off from the thing. I can see on the Classic, the Classic told me I was pulling 101, 102 amps from the battery this guy was reading it and i was checking i was going through the uh, other rooms and up in the house just cranking up stuff just to see what the system can take and pop that's what i heard and my wife said what is that i was like something and uh, the water stopped boiling almost in the process of boiling and it stopped everything shut off everything shut down completely the only thing that left that is running here, which is this guy, the battery extra. I can still smell the 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 the, the fuse the smell. Look at the snap right here. You can see um, like a a, a whatever it called like a a cloudy thing there. With this um, uh, ANL fuse popped, but my wires are not warm, and I think they're about to just about generate some heat a little bit. Which is a very huge cables, which um, and you see right there, and nothing happened to them, folks. Because I can show you, got all the battery wires. They are there. They're huge, and folks, this is what happened, and the fuse popped. The breakers for the outback, the the breakers, uh, 150 volt, um breaker and uh um other one i forgot was the um amperage and all of them stopped the system shut off completely like i said it's only this guy who is not wired through here was wired directly into the battery terminals that doesn't pop so i was drawing so hard bringing um the batteries were full okay the batteries, so I, I did this test so that I can able to pull the batteries way, way, way hard. And what batteries went to about um, 40, uh, 20, 24.9. I was just yanking the power, just dragging the system so hard. I just had pa. That all happened. Safety, 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 folks. The reason I'm making this thing is about safety. If this fuse, uh, I should have a fuse here. 
That would be a disaster. That would have been a disaster if it's just like a, a um, you don't rate your <clears throat> your fuses right, your cables right. You're gonna be in so much, so much trouble. By the time you realize that, especially when these batteries are inside the box, that would be in a disaster. And if I'm not home, and I would have like lost a lot of stuff, you know. My system gonna burnt out, and you're gonna, my house gonna be in so much problems, and all this stuff. Everything would have been destroyed. But you fuse and you break. Some people have some breakers. I encourage you to have fuses too, which is some people think is too much. You know, breakers are good and uh, fuses are okay. This is the main battery, the main system fuse. This is the main main drive. Anything that comes from these batteries here, he passed through this. This guy has to approve that because it's too much, you know, for what I was pulling over 100 amps, over 100 amps, this guy popped. Right? See that? I want you guys to see that. That's a really tough uh, fuse I have there. But I rate the system, I rate the fuse according to um, uh, the system specification. This is what I want to, to, to see happen. And it just happened. The system proved itself. itself and um, I'm so happy with it. I know what I was doing. It doesn't mean I don't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. And I was here in a standby to see whatever uh, is going to happen. But I want to see this happen when I'm around or while, while I'm home. Okay? Okay. So this is uh, just a clear, clear, clear representation how a system should work and how a main fuse or main breaker should um, handle uh, power surge or uh, excess power instead of the system being blown or destroyed or uh, endanger other people's lives the system just the, the fuse just blow you know this fuse doesn't cost me anything compared to all the machines I have here com compared to all the investment I've have already installed into this thing well folks this is the clear, clear thing. JW Solar USA, please subscribe, like, and share. And take this as an example. Take this as a, 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 um, a learning process. Take, uh, take this as an example. And use it as an illustration towards other people's system. And see, I've been trying to do this. But I was waiting so that I can install the bigger inverter. And, and which is a 24 volt, they can able to bring a lot of amps. Okay, a 48 volt would have popped this thing, but you know, the higher the voltage, the lower the amps. So I was driving a lot of amps, a lot of amps. So I wanted to pop, and now I'm rest assured that anything happened, there's no way I can pull over 100 and some amps. No way. Okay, but this is what I did. JW Solar USA, thank you for watching. I hope this one will help someone. And subscribe, like, and share. Bye. All right, YouTube. Um, everything is fixed. Replace the fuse. You can see there's a new fuse. Nothing is broken there. Sorry, but the camera light, it acts like it's kind of, <laughs> if you see, it's just like cloudy or smoky around here. But it's not smoky, it's just a light. See the fuse, I just want to show you in there. It's a brand new fuse. It's not broken. Anything. Yeah, so I'm going to power up the system so that you guys can see that everything is working. Yeah, it's back to reality. So, folks, disconnect the breakers. Shut down, shut down the breakers and uh, I'm going to power up the... Uh, the system and you guys can see here is the main disconnect folks I'm um, turning it on 
power on and you see that one is still on and there's a flashing light right there okay it's flashing light that tells you power is power is on and here it tells you um, I think the inverter is off so that's what he's doing so and take a look at these guys I'm gonna be turning the breakers on you see all these two guys fired up right away I can turn this one off on on see so check this out I'm gonna turn the Outback and the classic there we go okay that goes the classic start up right away and you see the green lights up there on the hub classic is up running and the mate and uh, the remote for the uh, Magnum all of them powered up it's that so reading a 25.9 volt 25.9 volt so folks everything is back on business and we are ready to go rock and roll here so fuse is working and everything so we're gonna power up the uh the inverter and see how everything is running and we'll make sure safety uh, okay let's see there's a power button here if you can guys can see that I'll just push this for you guys to see see that see that See that? It's flashing. So, I would have powered it up here, but I want you guys to see that's an auxiliary and other power shut, shut off over there. I would have turned it here, but I have to go back because I have to show you here and go back there. You guys can miss the entire um, power on that thing. That's why I decided to push the button right here. So, at least you guys can be able to see it. I still have to put these covers here for the battery protection, ter terminal pr protection, and you guys can see it's flashing, and we are ready to go, and breakers, and breakers, there we go, it's running, the flashing stop, see that solid one, it's just like beep, beep, beep instead of going pulsing so i'm gonna come back here and show you guys something is really pulling really hard okay oh folks i figured it out honey can you show this water water heater the water dispenser is on the water heater is on the water dispenser is on and uh the heater, the first button, red one. Look, it drops. Okay, dropping. And and the uh, the the freezer, the refrigerator in the um, studio room, and the uh, what else? The water dispenser and built-in water heater. And deep freezer, refrigerator, all these things were on. And the breaker has just shut down the breakers on the breaker box right there. And see, uh, my wife just uh, shut the turn off the, uh, the, uh, the, the heater, well, the heater under the water dispenser. And everything goes back to normal instead of putting about 30 amps off from the batteries. And this is how we go. This guy is still flashing here. I gotta take care of that boy. By resetting it, just to have a, find a little screwdriver or maybe a um, a toothpick and one push. Voila, stop. 
21.50 hours right here from Minnesota JW Sula USA performing a test. Everything is running pretty good. And all these guys are happy. All the power is on. Check this out. Everything is working. Everything is working. You know, testing my system. The system just proved itself that it can handle it and it can shut off when it needs to in case of emergency whatever it is this guy will stop it thanks boy good boy good boy good job all right i'm wrapping up this video from jw solar usa please subscribe like and share make sure safety 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 first off grid on grid grid tie safety batteries safety inverters charge controllers solar panels safety all right size your wires right get your fuse ready get your breakers all correct rate everything do your assignment do your math do calculation if you don't know ask someone to help you or go into go online and look it up on the chart and you will find exactly what cable or size cable what fuses you use or breakers and how many amps you're driving on that, how many voltage, and the system is just doing it. All right, thank you, guys, and God bless. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.